Hey y'all, today I am going to film a get ready with me. Um, I'm going to go bowling with my old crew from my job in Denver. We're going to go to Lucky Strikes. Let's get started. I got my hair cut the other day. Um, it's a, so it's more of an A-line bob. It's not really short in the back at all. And this is what the back looks like. Uh, <clears throat> but I cut my hair because I am so tired of putting my hair up every day for work. I feel like what's the point of having long hair if I've got to put it up every day? And um, I'm going to plug my curling iron in here. And yeah, so I was tired of putting my hair up every single day for work. And um, I just said, screw it. I'm going to cut it. My hair will grow back. Um, I have never had my hair this short. And uh, I actually really like it. I like it a lot. And I'm just going to put a few curls in it and then kind of tousle it around. Oh, I'm going to put this um, down and out um, spray by IGK. It's called a dirty spray. So I usually just take a hand in. And I kind of pull my hair apart. And I'm going to spray this through. And I'm going to, like, I kind of start on the bottom and I pick up hair like that. And then I put it in the middle. And then up top, underneath. This will really help my curls stay in place. Um, and I don't even want, like when I say curls, what I'm meaning, you'll see what I mean. Because I'm about to get started. But I'm just talking about like very loose waves. Um, so where I work, my hair has to be two inches. Um, it cannot be more than two inches below my collar. And that can be very frustrating. I also think I'm going to let my bangs grow back out. So I was like, you know what? Let me just chop it off. It'll grow back. It's no big deal. So I put curls in just like that. So um, I just take my curling iron here. And what I do is wrap the hair right around. And I wrap it in different directions. Sometimes I wrap it away from my face. Sometimes I wrap it towards my face. That just ensures that not everything is going the same way. And so um, you'll have more texture and everything. Like you can kind of, you can work with it more. Like not everything's going the same direction. So it looks a lot better. The ones on the bottom are very hard. Um, I just try my best with those. So once I have a section like this done, I'm going to use this texturizing spray from Way, And what I'm going to do is spray it underneath while I'm like kind of lifting. And like hold it up while I'm spraying. So um, before I do this last little section, I'm just going to put on some um, primer. This is from Hourglass. I'm going to put this on now so it will soak in my face a little bit. I just use like one pump, just a tiny bit because this stuff spreads out a lot. That's why I really like it. Like it will cover all of my cheek down here to my chin. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take more of the texturizing spray, and now that my hair is done, I'm going to hold it up and spray from up top and really give it some tease there. All right, so what I'm going to do first for makeup... <clears throat> I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. Um, this is in Ivory, Light Ivory. And I'm going to put this on my eyelid. 
I don't want my bangs in the way, so I don't want those little ones in the way. There we go. <clears throat> this is just going to give me a smooth base for my eyeshadow. I'm going to take my optical blurring brush from Urban Decay. I'm going to blend this out all over my eyelid. So today I'm going to Lucky Strike up in Denver. And um, I'm meeting up with my old work crew. I miss them so much. I've never been to Lucky Strike before. Um, I'm interested to see how it's set up. You guys know, like, I go into buildings and I'm all about the aesthetics. Like, I want to see what it looks like, what the music is like. <clears throat> I'm excited to be heading up to Denver because I've been craving Chiba Hut. I'm going to use the Tartlet palette. We're just going to roll with it. I think I'm going to start off using Dreamer <clears throat> and I'm going to use that in the crease of my eye. I think um, next I'm going to go over the Dreamer with a little bit of Force of Nature or you know what? Yeah, Force of Nature. I am going to take a uh, best friend and I'm going to put that on my outer V here. This one's like more of a dark purplish. And then I'm going to take caregiver. And I'm going to put that right on the inside. And then I'm going to take this small little brush here. And I'm going to take a little bit of the Dreamer. And I'm going to put that right down here on my bottom line. Take some dreamer, pop it in the crease. It is September, you guys. I love September. Love, love, love September. I live for September. It's September and October. I can't pick between which month is my best month. Yo, I feel like October is my favorite month. Between October and September, I think October takes the cake. Right? And then I'm going to take best friend. And put that down on my lower V. And I'm going to take caregiver. And I'm going to put that right on my outer V. And caregiver on my eyelid. Um, this mascara is the L'Oreal um, Voluminous Miss Manga. Next, I'm going to do foundation, and I'm going to mix the L'Oreal True Match Creamy Natural with um, Classic Ivory. I've been a little on the lighter side, uh, especially I have not been tanning this summer. So what I did was take the bottom of this brush. This is a Sephora 47. And I took the bottom tip and I just mixed up the foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and start. And I'm going to start in the middle of my face and work my way out. Um, yeah, I need to go buy some new foundation. And I do miss the tanning bed. I didn't wake up one day and say, hmm, I'm never going to go tanning again. I honestly, I think I just haven't made the time for it. So I'm going to take my optical blurring brush and just kind of go over everything. <clears throat> okay, next I'm going to do a teeny bit of contour. I'm going to use the Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D. And I think I'm going to use my, um, I'm going to use my Signa brush.
And um, I always use the color subconscious. Light hand here. And I'm gonna take um, levitation and plop that right underneath. And let that sit for just a minute. I'm gonna plop that right on top. Oh no, a little bit of mascara got under there. Okay, I'm going to take my Holy Grail. This is my favorite brush ever. This is the 91 powder brush from Sephora. Wipe everything away. I'm also going to contour my nose. I'm going to use um, this little Eco Tools brush. I don't know the name of it, but it com comes in that little triangle like that. So what I did, I just took it right in the palette, right down the side. And I'm going to come up here, the inner of my eye, where the eyebrow goes, and go all the way down. Contouring the nose can definitely seem intimidating. And I just bring it right under that curve there. And I'm going to blend it out. We're going to do the same thing here. And I contour the shit out of my nose. Right under there. So it kind of looks like a little triangle. It's so cool what makeup can do. So I'm going to take my optical blurring brush. I'm going to blend this out. You could use a beauty blender to do this too. But I haven't used my beauty blenders in a while. And I don't feel like grabbing one. I think I'm going to use 143 on my cheeks. Let's give that a swirl in there. Ooh, girl. Um, a little right here. And I kind of push it in right there. And I'm going to take a teeny bit right there. Tip of my nose. And right down the middle. I'm going to blend everything out. I am going to use... Katie and Desi's No Shade. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Stop it. All right, y'all, I'm going to take my rose water spray from Herbivore. And I'm going to move all this back. And I'm going to spray my face. Just don't want it in my bangs. I am going to change and I will show you guys my outfit. So I took a bodysuit that I had from Forever 21. I took some old camo pants that my dad gave me. I took some nude heels. I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a fun weekend and I'll talk to you guys soon.